corners of my eyes and behind the curtains of my heart. Sometimes I could hear them in the silences of awkward conversations, but you can't grab things that are invisible. The news came on late last night and broke the story that the words had found you too, and I got scared and turned the TV off. The left side of my body was happy for you, but the right side, it just flashed a warning. Okay, the news came on. The news came on. The news came on late last night. News flash. Breaking story. The words found the bad weather. Bad weather words. The bad weather. No, 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 no. The news came on late last night. Frank, so hot. The news came on late last night and broke the story. That the words had found you too, and I got scared and turned the TV off. The left side of my body was happy for you, but the right side it just flashed warning. I put out more cigarettes of ambition than you'll ever smoke, and if you think it's gonna be easy, girl. You got another thing coming. Because Mama done told us right when she said there'd be days like this. Because there will be days like this, Jack. In fact, every day is going to be just like this. And so it goes. Until they bring the flowers in and the sad songs play. Tonight's forecast is calling for heavy-handedness. The thoughts of death. Because we just found out how the story ends. And maybe we should have known, because it's been happening to everyone, but for some reason, we always thought we were different. We went to Disneyland and got our pictures taken with princesses, and despite oceans of strangers, we never felt insignificant. We felt magnificent. We felt infinite. But before the park closed, I watched you fast past the lines while I waited my whole life. I compared myself to you, and whether I used yardsticks, scales, or coffee spoons, I never measured upright, and that keeps me up at night. So I'll put enthusiasm in this pocket and ambition in the other and forget about them until they lower the price of cigarettes. Until I get a postcard from death with the message, wish you were here. And you might ask why I'm so obsessed with death, but I want to know why death's so obsessed with me. I'm not even next in line. I heard a poem last night that made me realize why we hold these open mic nights in the first place. It made me want to call Jake Reese and tell him he missed out on something brilliant, something he'd never be able to make up, and too many people missed it. I heard a poem last night that made me want to call my wife. It made me want to climb up a tree and hide there until the bears were gone and the coyotes were fast asleep. I heard a poem last night that made me want to drop out of school. It made me wonder what we're all doing here and where does the moon go every night and does love even exist? I heard a poem that inspired me so much that it made me want to give up everything I thought I could be. It made me wonder what God wants and what if he and I aren't on the same page. We're in two separate books and some days I'm afraid that we're in two separate worlds. No matter what we say in our yearbooks next year, it won't be the same. And I just want to know what's going to happen when you leave and take all the poetry with you. Will you put it on your dorm room or carry it in your pocket? Or will it just be another push pin on the map under your bed? Shadows, they don't scare me nearly as much as that moment when the last shadow disappears and all that's left is my ashtray and me.